How's it going everybody? This is M with Silver and Forge back with another video. So I was thinking about it and I wanted to discuss uh, something that kind of came to my mind as I was going through the motions of finishing this knife up and uh, that's grinding. Um, I do all my grinding freehand. Uh, I tried a jig once upon a time ago and I just never got the hang of it so I just went back to freehand. Uh, but over the course of, uh, you know, applying freehand grinding, I learned a lot of things. Uh, I did my research and kind of uh, applied several concepts as to how, uh, just to kind of my own way of doing things, and I found what works for me. Um, you know, depending on how you do things, if uh, you are... Um, you know, doing stock removal or smithing forge to finish or, you know, just forging anything out and applying a grind to it. Uh, it takes a lot of, uh, a lot of time and, uh, patience to get it to where you want it to be. I tend to do things a little bit, uh, oversized to accommodate for any mistakes that I might incur or, you know, just, uh, just as a general rule of thumb, you know, you can always take away but you can never give back and so this is just that uh, this is a uh, uh, leaf spring uh, that was approximately two inches long by a quarter inch thick that I worked down to a little over an eighth of an inch thick with a distal taper and uh, it's waiting heat treatment right now uh, but until I just wanted to go over you know just the the aspect of grinding uh, I find that you know I have more control when I freehand grind, you know, I, you get into that kind of motion and it's almost like a zen-like feel where you can feel you're right there, right where you want to be uh, coming up on the edge. And uh, I just I just think that's a neat thing. But yeah, uh, this is the Puko. I'll be getting it finished soon enough and uh, I'll let you know how it uh, operates at the end of the day. But yeah, uh, please like and subscribe and always read PPE guys. Thanks for watching.